In Risa 4 version 12, we've added a lot of different enhancements to the detail report. If you take a look, you can see here we have a solved model, and I'm going to open up a detail report for some of these here. So let me open up one here. And the detail report is always organized in a way that you can see the loads on the top. We've added interactive detail reports, so you can click on the shear diagram, and you can scroll across that diagram, and it'll give you some information based on the location. So we see here, if I scroll all the way to across, I get the different values along those locations. That's true for moment diagrams as well. So you get the values there shown for the moment diagram, as well as the deflection diagram. So we can get the maximum deflections and any deflections along the points of the locations here. So we get that shown all based on the different types of load combinations we're listed here. So if we go and we can take a look at different load combinations and what kind of loads are applied, and that would change these values a bit. One of the things we're seeing if we go to strength and live, uh, dead and live loads here, so we see the diagram looks a little bit different. So the moment diagram and the shear diagram have a shadow to it. If you go to your options page, you'll see here that there is an option for the live load reduction. So if you click that live load reduction, it's on by default. You'll see that when you click on one of these shear diagrams, we are now showing it with the live load reduction shown. If you want to see the full value, you can uncheck that and that value will jump over to the full value. You can also show that diagram without that live load reduction just by unchecking that and you'll start to see that without the shadow. So it gives you some options on how to display that. The other thing we can do is we have skip loading added to the model. So skip loading is when we see a beam has a continuous beam. So if I click on one of these ones down here, we have a large uh, beam, excuse me, here. We have a large beam that's continuous. And I'm going to go to a live load combination, looking at that category. And what I'll see here is I, I see patterns listed underneath that. So I'm showing here a pattern of A, B1, and B2. And you'll see as I go through that, it changes the load pattern. So what we're doing is skip loading that beam until we find the actual maximums of that load uh, applied to that structure. So if you go all the way to the bottom of the report, you get a beam skip loading uh, report here that tells us what is showing for the regular loading versus the B1 versus B2 and what was controlling for shear, uh, for the end reactions, or for deflection. So all that has been added directly to the diagrams as well. You can see that as we scroll across, we see that all that information right there.